The Russian Empire The Reign of the Emperor Alexander I 1803 Five Copic Coin At the times, the Copic Coins, like 1803 Five Copics, were produced by two mints. In Yekaterinburg Mint, label EM, the coins were produced mainly for the European region of Russia. In one year, the mint was able to produce an imposing number of coins and 31,819,980 pieces, using over 1,500 tons of copper. In Suzun, labeled KM, the coins were executed for Asiatic Russia, called Kolivan coin. According to the reports, in 1803 fiscal year, the mint issued 118,000 rubles worth copper coins of all denominations. Taking into account the fact that until today no other copper coin by Suzun Mint was found, it may be concluded that here only five copper coin were minted. Therefore, the circulation of the particular coin consists of 3,600,000 pieces. Alexander I issues an edict to the Senate from October 1, 1801, recognizing the steadfastness of the internal value of the coin necessary to preserve the overall confidence, and confirms the coin stack established by Pavel in 1797. The mints continue to execute copper coins of all denominations for 60 rubles per copper put, but using latest coin images confirmed by the same edict. Let's evaluate the characteristics of 1803 5 Copics coin. Material Copper. Nominal weight 51.90 grams. Diameter 42 45 millimeters. Milling thread like. Let us consider 5 Copic coin issued by Yekaterinburg Mint. First of all, it should be mentioned that there are five main variations of the coin labeled EM. Let's take a closer look on the reverse of the coin. In the center, the denomination of the coin is marked by a number 5 with a dot and an engraving copics. Under the engraving, there is a separating line and a year of issue. Please note, there is no dot after the year of issue. Under the year, there is the label of the mint that executed the coin. Letters EM. There is a dot after each one of the letters. There are five linear concentric circles which have five aged counting points, duplicating the denomination of the coin. At the edge of the coin, there is a ribbed rim. By the way, these coins are called on numismatist slang the circulars, due to their composition of circles. The same rim as well as a composition of circles is minted on the averse of the coin. The Russian Empire coat of arms is placed in the center. The double-headed eagle wearing three imperial crowns, holding a scepter in his right claw and an orb in his left. On the eagle's breast is the Moscow coat of arms, a shield with St. George on horse slaying a winged dragon with a spear. The shield is surrounded with a chain of order of St. Andrew the Apostle, the first called. To determine the variation, note the image of the eagle, counting dots of the averse and the reverse, and the dots after the letters and numbers on the reverse. This type of stampings of both sides of the coins had been used for minting in 1802. The variation is marked as averse and reverse of 1802. In 1803, the mint begins to use new modified stampings for averse and reverse for minting five copics, but the complete transition does not occur at once. Just like in 1788, there are occasions of stampings jumble, the coins that had the averse of the new pattern and the reverse of the old one, or vice versa. The second variation is considering the five copics coin with the 1802 old sample averse, while the reverse is of the new sample. As the complete transition onto new stampings occurred only in 1806, note the variation as the reverse of 1806 sample. To differentiate the new reverse from the old one is possible, knowing several characteristics, counting dots and dots after the denomination number and mint label of the new reverse consists of the concentric circles, and there is a dot after the year of minting.
while the separation line is thinner with a thickening closer to the center. The third duration has the reverse from the old sample and the averse of the new one. The new averse has the same concentric circles with counting dots like the new averse. The double-headed eagle's wings are fluffier with differently looking feathers. And the shield of Moscow coat of arms has a different shape. Mark the averse of the 1806 sample and the reverse of 1802. The fourth duration of 1803 5 copics coins is issued using new stampings for averse and reverse. The fifth duration of Yekaterinburg mint coin has the double headed eagle of the new sample, but has small distinctions that are marked on its size and the shape of the Moscow coat of arms shield. The 5 copic coins with such eagle were minted in small amount exclusively in 1803. It is probable that while exchanging the old stampings, it was decided to use one type that had to be used later on. Note this variation as the averse with an ordinary eagle. Let's discuss Suzun mint coin. The variations of regular circulation are not marked, however, the five copics of this mint somehow differ from Yekaterinburg mint coins. Other than the differences in the image of the eagle, the label of the mint strikes the attention, as it is situated on the averse of the coin instead of the reverse. Also, the coins labeled KM lacked the Rip Dream, renounced in Suzun last year, in 1802. Now, knowing the variations of the coins, let us consider the average value of the coins on the auctions. However, it is worth mentioning that all of the circular 5 copics are rather rare and valuable copper coins of the times of the reign on Alexander I, despite the fact that Yekaterinburg mint for 8 years of work executed over 170 million pieces of this coin alone. The main reason for rarity of these coins is hidden behind the actions of the Russian Empire government. The copper coin of 60 rubles coin stack were minted until 1810. The manifest from August 29, the government decides to increase the coin stack up to 24 rubles from copper put, basing on the copper bullion cost at the times. The circulation of the heavy coins of the previous mint were not cancelled, counting on the exchange of the old coin for the newer and lighter coin due to the official collection. Further, by withdrawing the old coin using nine temporary mints, it was planned on remaking it into the new one. However, according to 8021 September 2 report of Dmitry Guryev, the Minister of Finances, it was pointless. After 10 years of minting coins for 24 rubles coin stack, there were so many coins issued that the redistribution of the coin was irrelevant. Moreover, the cost of copper at the time was already 31 rubles per put. It was much easier to melt down the old coin into arms and implement abroad, gaining almost 100% profit what was done. Besides, the price for copper and the increase of coin stack attracted the witty entrepreneurs for easy money, despite the ban by the manifest on private fusing, equating such actions to coinage offense. In addition, the government was getting the news on attempts to export the copper coin of old mint all the time. In such a way, in May 1824, 814 rubles worth of secretly loaded copper coin of old sample were found on a trading ship departing from Arkhangelsk, belonging to merchant Popov, which totaled around 50 puds of copper, and after the search of his house, another 532 rubles of the same coin was found and confiscated for meltdown. Therefore, the actions of the government on one hand and the desire of the population to get richer on the other wiped out the heavy circular coins almost completely. Let's go back to the price value. The first and the fourth variation of Yekaterinburg mint are valued almost the same. The average pricing may vary from $60 in extremely fine condition to $600 in excellent condition. 
The two variations of the Jumble coins cost around five times more, from $275 in very fine condition to $300,000 in excellent condition. The rarity of the Jumble coins is supported by the authors of the classic catalogues. The coin with an unordinary type of eagle was marked by Vladimir Bitkin as very rare. However, according to the auctions, the average cost of this coin situated in the same range as the five copics of the second and the third variations. The collectors and numismatists are ready to pay from $40 in fine condition to $1,200 in excellent condition for the Suzun Min coin. Petrov and Ilyin evaluated this coin in 2 rubles and a ruble respectively. In addition, there is a remake coin labeled KM, which is marked in Bitkin catalog as rather rare. But due to the lack of the offers on the market, it is impossible to evaluate its average price. Usually, appearance of such a coin on the market causes extreme interest from the numismatists and collectors. In 1803, the prices on the markets of Kiev were the following. One could purchase a kilo of buckwheat for one kopek. The millet costed twice as much, around two kopeks, while a kilo of wheat costed in average three and a half kopeks. Cow butter was sold in a count of 14 kopecks per pound. Fresh buckwheat honey was worth 5 rubles per pud. And a cup of new milk one had to pay around 2 kopecks. The pork lard was not only used as food, but also for lighting up the premises. Therefore, the demand for this type of product was rather high, while the price was even higher than on meat. In such a way, a kilo of pork or mutton was asked for in average 7.5 kopecks. Veal around 9 kopecks, and for a kilo of lard one had to pay 20 kopecks. As for poultry, a chicken was worth on the market 15 kopecks, a duck was 20, and a pair of geese was worth around 60 kopecks in average. The salary of the district doctor on the second rank in 1803 was 15 rubles per month. The overseer at the customs got 25 rubles, and the provincial surveyor received a salary of 400 rubles a year. In 1802, eight new ministries were created in the Russian Empire. Each minister was appointed a salary of 12,000 rubles per year. Moreover, each got additional 5,000 rubles per year for renting real estate for self and the council up until the point when the government will provide them with a separate house of their own. Discussing the 1803 5 copic coin, we can't fairly evaluate that this coin could have been in hands of Seaman Ivan Fyodorovich Krusenstein or the General Pyotr Ivanovich Bagration or the novelist Ivan Krylov or the historian Nikolai Karamzin and used to buy goods and foods on the local market. Based on this, one has to remember that the value of the coin is in its history. <laughs>